we see you kind of really briefly in the train station sequence at the end. Yeah. And like, it's, you know, it's really nice to see that Drake goes there and his life's going on. And I know that they shot that twice. And I, I'm curious about what the first version looked like, what you guys looked like, and then sure. what, what kind of difference the second one, the reshoot made. Well, I confess to be able to give you no knowledge of this because <laughs> I only shot it once. I oh, was, really? I was called back for the reshoot, and then a day before they said, actually, you're fine. Um, really? I think it was something to do with the length of it, of, mm -hmm. of the speech that the kids had um, mm -hmm. with their parents, and something about like the the angle. I don't know what it was. Okay. But the long short of it was our little two second shot was was. was so you never went through any different makeup tests or no. anything like well, that. Well, yeah, heavily before. Okay, before, before the first that, yeah. Test. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to think how other people look different because I obviously wasn't there for the reshoots, mm -hmm. but I saw the first one. So Rupert looked a bit different, um, and that was about it. Yeah, it's hard to put. Them so what do they put on you? They just give you a wig and some. Everything. I mean, we do a, we got a, <laughs> You've got a balding wig to give you a receding hairline. Mm -hmm. You give these things like the crow's eyes that you your eyes to sort of make your eyes look a bit scrunchy. Um, little plastic things here to give you like an extra jowl, wow. they call it. The goatee, the wig. Um, yeah, it's pretty extensive, man. Did, was, uh, did you feel fun. like they were being kind of unfair? You're like, I'm not going to look like this. And Tell you what, I was like 19, 19 years. <laughs> and I was back and I was like, you, have you seen Jason Isaacs? <laughs> He's, no. about, he's 50, I didn't leave, I'm I know. like his dad, yeah, well, the flashback to this movie, is like, Alan Rickman hasn't aged in 10 years, he looks yeah. exactly the same. <laughs> this is the wonders of wizardry world. I know, it, things don't change that much. <laughs> I have a very specific bookie question for you. Why right. is it, why aren't Crab and Goyle with you in the Room of Requirement? Why, why do they add Blaze in there? There was some confusion, I think there was, or some difficulties getting back one of the actors. I think, okay. I think, I, honestly, I don't know the full story about this one. I know it was, uh, it was something that was fairly late decided, as I recall. Mm -hmm. um, I forget, I, again, I forget the actual reason why, but we were very happy with it. It was nice to have Louis yeah. there who plays plays. He's a really, yeah. really good actor. Well, you guys are in there scrambling together. Yeah, exactly. That's when you get along with. Yeah, he's very fit as well. He's very active, very active <laughs> yeah. which was essential, man. We were both knackered by the end of Yeah. We just kept climbing up. Climbing down, They're like climbing up. Just yeah, I mean that's not weeks. just probably one of your biggest action sequences. It's one of the biggest one they've done in the movie. Yeah, right? certainly for us, you know. And 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 uh, there was hardly any fire there, there on the day. There mm -hmm. were bits, but when we saw it, yeah, back, we're not going to get like, you guys near fire. Jesus Christ, there was loads of it. it was amazing. Yeah. I was like, Where was I when that happened? But it was kind of cool to look back. You were climbing and up the thing. And yeah, back for sure. Thing. <laughs> when there's there's I don't, Drake doesn't have a lot of lines in this. That's no. what really interesting. It's a lot of like shots and just looking and kind of deciding and changing his mind sure. and you kind of think back to being a you know being 11 and you know, being snide and having all these lines and the way that the characters change is that something have you grown with him in that way where yeah, it's gone from being like outwardly you know, snotty to having that kind of conflict i hadn't thought about it like that but that's a great way of looking at it where when you are snotty you're quick to quick to talk and you've mm -hmm. got generally the most i was talking about it earlier saying the most cocky people the most arrogant are usually the ones that do have Troubled childhoods. Mm -hmm. They just don't realize it when they're children. It's only when they get to sort of 16, 18 and they think, wait a minute, I wonder if my dad's really quite the wonderful influence on me that I once thought he was. Mm -hmm. And clearly Draco goes through that, you know, the last few years. He just doesn't doesn't think he's in a good good position at all. Um, the sad thing about it is that he doesn't have any choice. His hands are kind of tied from day yeah. one, really, which is, which is quite a sad bit of the story. I think. Yeah. Well, when did you realize that he was going to be growing in that way? Did you did, did you sit down with J.K. Rowling no, and she tell you, or I did you just get the book? I just got the sixth book, and as uh -huh. soon as I read, actually, I, I got the sixth. Is it the sixth book where sixth it, book where, it, where he, he has a slight change of you know mm -hmm. you see a new new sort of uh, conscience or whatever? Um, and I, I picked it up and said, I'm going to read a chapter a week. That's what I said to myself, wow. a chapter a week. So I wanted to make sure I string out for as long as possible. Because what were you shooting at that point? Uh, I forget. Maybe Something. end of four, beginning okay. of five, or in between. I'm not sure. Um, and my friend got it, and she rung me up a day later and said, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> You have to read this. You have to read that. So I read it in two days. And then <laughs> was course. very excited by it. And I was like, yeah, it was cool. I, I always envisioned him kind of going just all one one way route and it was nice to kind of turn it on his head it was slightly worrying to think oh my god now what am I going to do how am I going to can we change it kind of thing but yeah thanks to David and all the great actors they made it very easy yeah well when you're a kid and you're you know you I, I feel I think when you're a kid you can only understand a couple of different levels of a character I mean did you understand him then as just being totally bad and then yeah. even before you knew he was going to go good did you start understanding him more no I mean I just just a slimy git you know that was it <laughs> that was really it there was no Oh yeah, but your dad. Actually, it was nice in the second film because you see tiny elements of the you, fact yeah, that you when, see his, the family. when his dad's there, it's like, ah, that's why he's like that because mm -hmm. his dad's like that. But you still don't really see the um, 
you still see kind of Drake, I think, this is the way it is and this is the way that I want it to be. But it's only in the last couple of years that you really see them think, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, and yeah, I never, I never saw it coming to be honest, but it was a really nice, nice change as and when it did. Can you look back on those performances when you were so young, the first, the first couple of movies? Can can you watch them, and are you proud of them? <laughs> yeah. We're very proud of them. Yeah. I, mean, I never want to get the cross cross wires here. We're very proud of them because without them, obviously, we wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm. But you, I defy any adult actor to look back at a performance when they were eleven and go, yeah, "Brilliant!" Yeah, you were brilliant because you know it's the same. I'm sure I speak with all the cast. It's the same for Daniel or for Ruth, but mm -hmm. none of us like to look back at us when we're still. Well, most 11. of us are pretty lucky not to be on film when we're eleven. Yeah, exactly, so we can just... and we're documented rather heavily, so it's it's kind of cringeworthy. But like I said, we're we're still very very proud of them, obviously. What was your last day of shooting for this? Um, officially was was um, the room of requirement. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. the room of requirement. The uh, platform nine three quarters. Oh, okay. Doing the stuff as an older geezer. Okay. I did do one last night shoot. Of Draco walking away from the battle scene by himself, mm. but they obviously went with a different. They went with the one with me and my mom, mm -hmm. um, so that wasn't used. But yeah, that, those are the last couple of days we did. So we, it sounds like you were done before a lot of the other people were. Um, yeah, most likely. I mean, obviously okay. Dan, Rupert, and Emma, they were there to the bitter end. So yeah, I was kind of let off a couple of weeks before that, so it was. Right. Was that tough for you to be done and have everyone else to be going around? And you're like, okay, bye. No, no, no. It was better. It was yeah. better. I was uh -huh. really glad that I wasn't there on the day that. Daniel and Rupert finished because they got mm -hmm. an old video of them when they were kids. Yeah. They were surrounded by all their friends and family. Of course they're going to start blubbing their eyes out. <laughs> like, that's terrible. That's a punishment. They let you off the hook. Mine was very easy. They just did a little, um, we'd like to thank Tom Feldman for his 10 years of service. Yada, yada, yada. See you later. And I was like, later on, I'll take it And, you know, we, we went back next week for the rap party and, you know, loads of other stuff. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the last time we went down the studio. We've also been, I mean, you've got a lot of work coming up. And you're in another movie this summer. You've got other movies going on. You've, you've set yourself up for a lot. Did it, was there a transitional period between this and being able to take on other projects? Or were you pretty anxious to get out there? I was very anxious. It was about a week, really. Before really? I, yeah, yeah. I just said, look, man, I want to. Don't want to be sitting on my hands for six months waiting for this to come out. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to be working. Um, and I got very lucky with, with projects that I was very excited about. And immediately said, you know, as soon as they said Planet of the Apes, I was like, I'm there. Yeah. And, and then it only got better when they started listing who was in it and who was directing it and what it was about. And when I read it, I was blown away. So yeah, I was very, very. Uh, be grateful, very Are you fun. playing an American in that? Yes. Oh, Dodge, which excited is nice about cool. your accent. Yeah, it's great, man. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing some ADR for it, actually, which has been interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I actually, I confess, I didn't realize you were in it until I saw it in the trailer. I was like, what? Yeah, which is nice. Yeah, I, really, I like the fact that they're not sort of, I'm hoping people will almost watch it and go, oh, I really enjoyed that, but I had no idea that he was in it, because I look very different, hopefully, and mm -hmm. although they're, they're the characters are in a similar vein, they're still very different from each other. You got rid of the platinum blonde. That's for sure. Makes it <laughs> makes a huge difference.